I guess I'll go ahead and talk about it. Recently, I, I've uh, had an epiphany about why people stop going to church, including some young people. Um, a friend of mine uh, was at church and told me about it yesterday, <clears throat> and their pastor's wife taught Sunday school. <clears throat> And of course, there's always, you know, they go over the lesson, they go about, you know, you know, the aspects of the lesson in terms of the, uh, the other, you know, the, the story that goes along with the lesson itself. <clears throat> the lesson was more about, uh, I might have actually talked about it already, but I'm going to talk about it again. The lesson was about being uh, someone trying to influence you uh, out of your religion out of what you believe in and I'll I just kind of paraphrase basically it was a story about this woman who actually was at I guess it was some type of revival church uh, some special program going to the church and extended by hour to late, to late get home her husband well, I guess uh, got upset about it uh, kind of chewed her out for two hours and the kids, uh, I think uh, one was 14, the other one was 8, uh, and went down to the basement after having to endure that. Uh, and I guess they were troubled by it and bothered by it. So the, the youngest, who's a little boy, had asked if he could uh, go ahead and uh, go to church and pray with her. And she said, Sure. And uh, I think what it is, is that this was more along a, f- a form of uh, verbal abuse from the husband to the wife. Yes, there are some forms of verbal abuse. Okay. Um, there is such thing as verbal abuse. And, <clears throat> of course, the kid... What is with these people out here tonight, man? I'm not going to do no 45,000 miles an hour. But anyway, like I was saying before, forty-five thousand miles an hour. Anyway, uh, I got kind of sidetracked. But anyway, to to make a long story short. <clears throat> It kind of reminded me of something that was going on in my life. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. But the thing that I wanted to discuss, which is the first part, which is why people, I think, I understand why some people don't go to church anymore. Because of the fact that when you get to the scriptures and stuff, you, there are people there who read the scriptures who teaches the Bible, the, the Bible study, as well as the Sunday school, are very versed on it. But you, then you're teaching to a, a number of people who really don't understand as well as you. And sometimes, and I find out when I used to teach Sunday school, I used to break it down in layman terms. And as a teenager, I knew how to do it. You know, I commanded the room, so to speak, by doing that. And young people, we actually were getting more and more young people to come to Sunday school as a result of that when I taught Sunday school. And I think that's what you're going to have to do. I think that's what's going to change the hearts and minds of people to, to come back into church and learn the word of God and to get on the right path. you got to break it down like the church. And you're talking about places and cities and stuff and people with all these different names and I think it's more along lines you need to break it down to what's going on in that scenario so that people have a better understanding of what you're trying to teach and I think that's part of the reason why a lot of people don't go you know uh, or aren't desired to go or don't have a desire to go now here's the 
here's the other part. When you're influenced as a young person by an adult, that you should go for a reason that they can actually uh, substantiate. Um, my friend told that story about how his dad uh, saw him as a young man doing things in the church like teaching Sunday school and uh, going in and doing a junior choir I mean part of junior choir and all that stuff so in any case taught Sunday school junior choir junior usher um Junior Deacon. They did all of that. All that stuff they were doing. MC the number of the church programs. But when it came to the choir, it was the one thing that their father didn't, didn't take it too much of a shine to. And he told the guy when he was a kid. And that's based on the story he told me. He said, quote, singing choir Singing in the choir makes make us man, that messed up makes it makes sense out. I want you doing it. I'm like, what kind of bullshit is that? Really? My thing over there is I don't didn't see anything wrong with and you know I told myself I wouldn't see anything wrong with that if I was your father. I wouldn't have. Because this is what kids you know, you got kids who desire to do certain things like that. What is this food doing? I think I'm gonna run. No, 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 man. Sorry, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. But, uh, the thing over there is these kids today, man, need guidance. And to sit there and say something as ignorant as that, don't fly with me. Wouldn't fly with me. Would definitely wouldn't fly with me in the phone. I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's the last. I wouldn't tell my kids when I say that. I would not. I would not. Period. That's just some wrong stuff. You know. Here's the other thing, though. <clears throat> when a dad tells a child some mess like that. Usually because of something that he feared growing up. Or something that was involved with him that he had to deal with. I don't see anything wrong with your kids getting involved in church that they feel that they have the desire and the need to do that. But you as a parent need to be there to make sure they are on the right path and they need to be supervised. That's what you do. You know, you don't make statements like statements like that just to discourage them from doing what they need to be doing or f- f- things they want to do. And that's, that's wrong. It's, it's simply wrong. You know, and the statement was uh, so was such an untrue, ignorant ass statement. It wasn't even funny. Wasn't even funny. Well, I, I got more to say about that. Oh, and another podcast. I'm about to deal with this damn fool right here behind me. It's so close. He almost damn touched my fucking posture. So I, and I hate to be cussing like that. I just, it's just the stuff to see. This is the kind of, well, I'm saying that's why it's, this is why it's such an evil ass world out here. Because people don't give a damn about, about people. They just want to do what they want to do and that's it. DJ Wolf. I'm out.